Hello everyone, this is Tobe Wonderly, and welcome back to more of Pokemon Stadium 2. We completed Johto Gym Leader Castle, and defeated the Elite Four and the Champion. Got all that jazz completed, and finally over with. I'm just so glad that Champion Lance is done now. That's all I can say, because he is the toughest. Team Rocket's up to, almost up to par with him, though, too. But uh, Champion Lance definitely puts up a fight. But now it's time for the other half of Gym Leader Castle. Kanto Gym Leader Castle. It sounds weird saying castle twice in a row in the same sentence. Anyway, uh, this is probably going to be a long recording because uh, I looked at my schedule for the week that I'm like currently recording this, so this would be like uh, not the week of Easter, but the week after that. It's the beginning of the week right now for that week, if that makes any sense. I can't even remember what the date is because my head's so scrambled right now. Uh, but I have a lot planned for the week, like college-wise, and there's a lot of projects, and I have a ton of finals to study for. So I'm going to try to go ahead and do like a mass recording so I can get a lot of this recorded for the rest of the week, so I don't have to keep delaying videos like I had to do lately. And I'm really sorry about that, but I have to do what i got to do sometimes. And anyway, now that I've stated that, let's go ahead and actually start Kanto Gym Leader Castle. As I said before in the last video, I do remember saying this, you could do these in any order you want. And don't worry, I have the last guy figured out. I'll get to that eventually. I'm just going to do them in the order that Gen 1 does them. And not only that, it's it's easier to remember them in this order too, so I'll just do it in standard fashion. We'll be starting with Brock. And uh, speaking of which, Nintendo Power does recommend Pokemon for uh, the... J Kanto Gym Leader Castle as well. They do it a bit differently in their strategy guide, though, as you can see in the picture here. Uh, they recommend for uh, Brock to use Bayleaf, Magmar, and Mantine. In the picture, you can't even see Mantine, but if you look in the, the bar that has uh, Brock in it, it's like a blue bar, you can see the names of the three Pokemon they selected. But uh, they primarily use Bayleaf because of Razor Leaf, and... Uh, Magmar with Fire Punch because uh, there's a couple bug Pokemon that Brock has. Uh, that's fine with their selection, but I'm actually going to pick Pokemon of my own that are different. As a matter of fact, I have them registered. I went ahead and took the liberty of registering all of them ahead of time so that you want to sit through the painful process of me picking them. Uh, but for this team, I selected uh, Venusaur with the gold... or wait a minute. Uh, ignore the first three. Uh, even though I have Venusaur, Dodrio, and Execute, just ignore those three. Uh, the three I'll actually be using are Tangela with the Miracle Seed, Golduck with the Scope Lens, and Hitmonchan with the Focus Band. Uh, these are all rental Pokemon, but I did use items from the Silver Pack as before. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is already cracking up. So he finally made it this far. I'm Brock. Bring it on. Ah, you gotta love him. He's uh, actually one of the good... In my opinion, he's... Uh, pretty good character from the Pokemon anime. Uh, Jesse and James are pretty good, though, too. But Brock's pretty good on the good guy's side. But anyway, as I said, I'm going to use Tangela, Golduck, and Hitmonchan, and I'm going to use them in that order. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a pretty cool gem, I gotta say. I, I just love how there's, like, these diamonds everywhere, and, uh, you're suspended on chains. This kind of... I don't know why, but I get the vibe of, like, Pokemon the first movie when I'm in this gym. I don't know why. Like, where Mewtwo had all the clones fight all the other Pokemon. It's just so cool how that was set up. And because he used Onyx, it had a big extreme zoom out that time. <laughs> Alright, that's good, though, that he's using Onyx. I'm going to go ahead and use Giga Drain. Ah, but he's going to switch. I should have seen that. He probably does have a bug Pokemon. And it's fine if he does, but oh, we can't get easy victories. Fortress, though, well, that makes things really difficult. Giga Drain's not going to do hardly anything to that thing. So right away, I am going to have to switch. Okay, the question is, who's better of the two? Probably, uh... Probably Hitmonchan those two. I actually never fought his fortress before, so it's interesting. And th what's uh, helpful, I'll go ahead and bring this up, is uh, because of the way uh, Nintendo Power formatted their uh, guide, you can actually see all the moves that uh, 
the opponents have with the pictures that I use for uh, my videos to help show like what they suggest to use. As you've just seen, it used Defense Curl because it also knows Rollout. I, I could counter it, but uh, I'm going to start with Mock Punch, I think. Oh, but he switches. Okay, he's starting to intrigue me now. And we have Omastar. Any particular reason, I don't know. I'm a little curious why we, he switched to it. I'm not sure. Mock Punch is going to take forever, though, if I do stick with this, but what are you going to do? This Amistar, in addition to Surf, it knows Blizzard. So that is not good for me. I guess it's just that strong, I don't know. I don't know why he switched. I guess because it has high defense, maybe that's what it is. Okay, so I know that he has Onyx, um, this Omastar, which we're probably going to take out soon at some point, maybe. Oh, good. Good, that's very good. So yeah, Onyx, Omastar, and Fortress. Back to Onyx, I see. Mock Punch, I guess. Not the greatest move, but what are you gonna do? I'll send out um, Golduck instead of uh, Tangela, though. Whenever I. Or should I? I don't know. Now nah, I better use. Uh, Angela, I think. Something tells me he's gonna switch. The Pokeball opens to reveal its Pokemon. But uh Pokemon remain on each side. Bombs yeah, why not? We we'll use uh sleep powder. Well now, now that I think about it though, the uh, fortress has uh a mint berry if he does switch. Well gosh dang it, I don't know what to do here. He has sleep powder. At least we'll have it use up the berry, if anything. This is already getting to be a bit longer than I'd like it to be. Brock is just stalling things for me. Like I said, though, I've never fought this fortress thing before, though. That's what's really fouling me up here. Even though it went to sleep. So let's try that again. Hopefully it will work again. Okay, good. Alright. With that handled, now let's go ahead and switch to Golduck. It should stay asleep if I do this. Part of the reason why I put it to sleep is because it has Giga Drain. And that is not the friendliest of moves against Golduck. That moves, uh... Not a good matchup against Golduck. Well, it'll do a lot of damage to Golduck. I'm just speaking in a sense that I don't want to get hit by Giga Drain. Waterfall's not the greatest move against Fortress. I can see now why Nintendo Power says to have a Fire Pokemon on your team. But we don't have that, so we'll have to substitute with water. And he's obviously not switching to Onyx, because Onyx will be superbly weak to uh, water. And guess what? Fortress is now down thanks to Critical Hit. Fortress, we're done! Uh, his expressions kill me. <laughs> you gotta love Brock. Great, down to Onyx now. One waterfall should be all it takes. And Golduck is faster, good. His Onyx does have a quick claw though, so that could happen too, if it going first. That's dumb though, if I was him I'd be giving it to like the Omastar or the Golem. But I'm not the trainer, so... 
Whatever, Brock. That's up to you. And with that said, Brock's been handled just like that. That went pretty smoothly. It went a bit longer than I thought it would. The world is huge. I'm glad to have met you. Well, thank you. Thank you for the compliment, Brock. Well, that's the first gym out of the way. Pewter Gym is now complete. We're going to move on to Cerulean Gym now with Misty. I will see you soon for that.